Good morning, everybody. Can you tell I always do my paintings in the morning for the most part? Sometimes I'm a night owl, but <laughs> here lately I've been hitting it in the morning. So today we are going to do a modified swipe. And um, I think I have a beautiful color combination here. So let's get started. I have my color place antique white right out of the can on my canvas. Um, one thing I noticed I got into the habit of, and it's a big mistake, do not um, shake your pillow. So like I, I take my paint out of the gallons and I put it into these juice bottle containers. And I don't know what possessed me, but I started shaking them before I poured them out. And I ended up with little white bubbles popping up through. Um, little white specks popping up through my painting. Just a few. And so I had to get rid of them and push them down. And that is because I was shaking my pillow. And I don't know when I started doing that. I mean, I've got it in my head to stir, to shake, to whatever, and I was shaking my pillow. And never shake your pillow. You want to let it sit. Once you put it into those containers, you want to let it sit and um, and debubble eyes. And then you do not want to put the bubbles back in. So, what we're doing today is a drizzle swipe. And, big surprise, we are going to move into colored cell activators, too. So, I will let you know which ones <clears throat> have been proven to work. Not all of the colors do work as a cell activator. So, I've made a list of the ones that people have tried and that worked great. So that takes the guesswork out of it. Of course, you can always experiment, but our, you know, our uh, Australian Floetrol is expensive. So some people have taken the guesswork out of it for us and tried different colors. This is um, Amsterdam Azo Yellow Medium. I have to get my little junk container. I use a, a to-go container. I just throw my sticks in there. And then I'm ready to go when, um, when I go to wash them. This is this little piggy lagoon. I haven't used this one in a while. It's kind of separated. Needs a good stir, and this stirring will sometimes create some bubbles, so I try to scoop where the bubbles are not. Now, what's going to happen? Do you remember your color theory? When you mix blue and yellow, you get green, or since this is a teal, maybe we'll get a pretty teal. different shade of teal that's the other thing you have to think of too is what what do you have mixing together here and what's it going to turn into so like you don't want to mix certain colors because you'll get mud this one is key lime Piggy by Primary Elements. I really love this one. Beautiful, beautiful light green. We're just drizzling this all over so that when we swipe it moves. 
this wipe ends up giving you like a stained glass effect. I told you I was going to branch out into different colors, so we'll see what we get. This next one is this little piggy twilight. It's a pretty rose color. And wait till you see our cell activator. It's a surprise. So let's see, what else have I learned? So, um, well, let's get this drizzle done first. Pretty. I love that color. Okay, this is Deco Art Extreme Aquamarine. And you kind of want to leave some white space poking up through so you get to see that as well. This is just kind of such a relaxing process here. Just drizzling. You don't have to put much thought into it at all. Just get it on there. And the last color is this little piggy ore. It's a gold. having this on top is going to let our cell activator really shine and I will show it to you in a second okay I think that's good so let me grab my cell activator I just made it up this is Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Is this going to be pretty or what? So I'm going to try and show you. I don't know if you'll be able to see the consistency of this. So this is one tablespoon of Australian Floetrol and one teaspoon of the paint. And you'll see it runs. I'm trying. It runs off in a drizzle stream and then it bounces at the end. I hope you can see that. Bounce, bounce, bounce. Okay, that's how you know your cell activator is a good um, consistency. So let's talk about those cell activators really quick. Let me find it in my little book here. I'm going to tell you the cell activators in colors that work, okay? So there is Liquitex, Dioxazine Purple, Bronze, Turquoise Green, and Turquoise Blue. Then the Amsterdam colors that work are Permanent Blue Violet, that's the one we're going to use today, Prussian Blue, Payne's Gray, Gold, Copper, and most Amsterdam paints that are opaque. Um, Atelier, I don't use Atelier, but I did get some. I'm going to show you what an Atelier looks like. This Atelier comes in a tube like this, and you want to get the interactive acrylic, okay? So the Atelier that works are Thalo Turquoise, Copper, Blue Black, Dioxazin Purple, Silver, the Brown Black, 
and um, cobalt turquoise light. So you can rewind the video and write those down. But this is Atelier, and I got, I'll show you what I got. I got five of them, and just for the cell activators. So I got the Dioxazin Purple. I got the Thalo Turquoise. I got Silver. I think that'll be pretty as a cell activator. The Copper. And the Blue Black, which is an Indigo, it says on there. So those are the Ateliers that I have. So I am all set. I got all those colors so that I could um, I could experiment with colored cell activators. So here's what we're going to use to swipe this out. I'm using this big drywall uh, spreader, I guess you call it, whatever. Um, so we're going to do diagonal and then the diagonal go in the other way. So let's pop any bubbles that we have. We're moving on here. We are going to see how the permanent blue violet works as a cell activator. I've been excited to try these, especially the teals. Sorry, I'm back on my teals. But I've seen some gorgeous light teal as a cell activator. Okay. Bubbles are popped. Now we are going to place our cell activator down. Eh, what do I want to do? We're going to put it in the middle. We're going to put some more. Oh boy. We are getting a huge halo. Already. So it's going to work. Okay, let's do our first swipe. We're going to take and put this down. Oh. Okay. Oh, this is pretty. Why? We we got hmm. Okay, this is not going so well. What is the problem here? Let's try. it with oh, what the heck I was expecting let's try hitting it with our hit not a fan Not a fan. What has happened? Well, as long as we got it going, let's try it on this other side, I guess. Should have tried it on something smaller to begin with. Okay, we're going to wipe off our thing. Okay. 
pour all this. Well, huh. no, I'm not a fan. All right, we're going to have to figure out what in the world. went wrong here first of all i'm going to drain all this paint on this knife into my cup for pillows no sense in wasting it that's a lot of paint okay you got that Well, I don't hate it. I mean, it's pretty. It, it gives beautiful, um, the cells are pretty, but I just don't know why it didn't get cells all over. So let, let's keep going. We're probably going to scrape this. I really don't like it, but I'm going to show you the swirling technique I wanted to try. So I want to do not that. I, I want to do swirls like this. Then I want to come back in and I want to go the other way. So I went this way here. So now I'm going to go at the same things so that we have like little circles here. Not circles, ovals. There we go. So we have like little loops. Let's um let's do that over let's do that over here and give it some interest. See if we could save this painting. Let's try it with the bigger. Now we'll just come back around. Oh, this could end up being cute. So, right about here. Oh, guys, actually... <clears throat> Actually, I like it. <laughs> Something totally done. Let's let's do another one here. And one more over here. All right. Let's spin it and see what we get. this this is kind of cool <laughs> definitely not the all over cells that I was looking for now I don't want to lose this because this is the best part of the painting so let's uh, let's pick this up we're gonna tilt it this way a little bit well let's Let's push it over that way so that more of that goes off that way and we'll send it this way a little to get this corner. Which we did. See how that brought that over there? 
I brought this down here. This is kind of cool. I kind of like it. See, you never know what you're going to get. And you've got these swirls here and those there. It's different. All right, let's, um, let's get our edges here. Give it one more spin. Okay, so we scoop some up off the off of the spinner and get our corners. Just a little bit more right here. So I'm going to definitely try out these cell activators on a tile instead and see what we get with it. That swipe technique may not have been the best, but I did have it just barely touching, so it should have worked. But this is gorgeous. The coloring. I do like it. Okay, let me show you what we got. We're going to spin just... I'm going to tilt that way. No, I'm not, because then my cells are going to get, I'm going to lose the, um, the swirls. So we're just going to spin it one more time. Pretty. So it ends up, something we mixed didn't like, I think that the, well, the pink and the yellow would have been fine. The pink and the green didn't play so well together. We got some, some I don't want to call it muddiness, but we did get a different color than we used, like right here. But the coloring in this is just gorgeous. So let me take you down. I think we're not going to scrape it. I think we're going to keep it because I think someone will like this. So here we go. We'll start over here on this kind of boring edge, but it's not so boring. There's beautiful gold in there. The ore really did a nice job. Right here, this is gorgeous all those different colors so i told you i was going to try different colors and i sure did we've got a whole bunch of different colors so there you have it i'm not sure which i like it it's pretty so there's that way or we could put it that way either way it's it's very abstract i like it cute so anyway if you enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up please subscribe to my channel hit the notification button if you would like to know every time I post a new video I usually do that every day or every other day and um, yeah drop any comments you have in the question uh, questions you have in the comments all right thank you everybody Bye-bye.